Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to duplicate your AppGyver applications and aren't quite sure how, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering the basics of that in this video. Now, you'll notice I don't have an intro on this video, and that's because I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to have a couple of resources in the description, but before we jump through the incredibly painless process that is duplicating your AppGyver apps, I do want to highlight one main use case for this. So I'm going to have a link in the description to a video on white labeling or creating white label apps. And basically what this means is you could take an application like this app here. This is the application for my YouTube channel. You can see on my home screen of my YouTube channel, there's a video of how I actually made this. But if we wanted to duplicate this app and all of this, all these pages, links, literally all of the content, we can do that very, very simply by clicking on this make a copy of this app button. When we do this, it'll assign this generic name here and you'll just type in the name. So we'll just say Tyler Talks 2. Now, when you do this, this is going to give you the ability to effectively create white labels of this app, and I'll explain that in the other YouTube video. Now, basically, we've gone through the process of duplicating the app now. That's all that there is to it, but I do want to wait for this to actually complete just to walk you through the copy and show you what it looks like start to finish. So you'll see we probably waited about 30 seconds. We have Tyler Talks 2. You'll see we have all of the same pages. If we go to the home page, you'll see we have all of the same information. And if we were to go to a page, for example, contact us, you'll see it carries over the URL and it's going to carry over, if I'm not mistaken, literally all of the content. So at this point, when we go to the AppGyver home page, so if we were to effectively back out of this, so let's just do this. You'll see we now have this application right here updated one minute ago, and then this last one was updated two months ago. So we've effectively duplicated the app, and now you can go in and edit the application, or if you are interested, you can click here to delete the app, and it will be deleted. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next video.